Hello, my name is Simon and I present Slabify the World Painter script, the tutorial. What is Slabify? Well, Slabify is the answer to a problem I've encountered while wanting to make roads on my maps. So I've made a little road here that goes up and over the mountain. But the problem is that my friends got quite angry because they had to jump while walking on the road. And there's a very simple fix for that. Ideally, what you'd want is there to be some slabs so you can just walk up them. But doing slabs in World Paint is very hard. And doing all this by hand will take a long time. So the purpose of Slabify is to go from something that looks like this to something that looks like this without having to do any work by hand. How to download Slabify? It's very simple, you just go to the link in the description and then it will bring you to this page which gives you a small description and here the URL to this YouTube video will be etc. It gives you an option to donate. Uh, I spent quite a lot of time to make it as user friendly as possible but I only expect you to donate if you actually make money from this. But other than that you can just put in a zero click I want this, uh, fill in your email address here and you'll get uh, a download link sent to your email address. So once you've downloaded and extracted the zip file this is what you'll find. You'll find the before slabs uh, world which is useful if you want to like do the same things like play along with me. I suppose uh, the mask will which will be explained later the the path terrain which is the custom terrain I used to actually draw my paths the road slab which is spruce slabs the stone slabs which is just a stone slab the script itself and uh, text documentation and the final world which will be the same world after we're done with this tutorial so before we can start with the script we need to have two things first. Uh, first thing is the road, uh, which we have, but the second and arguably more important thing is the actual slabs. So to apply the slabs we're going to use a custom ground cover layer. To do that we go to the layers tab and click the plus button and click add custom ground cover layer. Then we're going to click the yellow pencil on the lego block to edit the custom material we go uh, select the slabs we're gonna take spruce slabs and in the properties type uh, you have actually three different types of slabs you have the bottom slab the double slab and the top slab we're gonna go for the bottom Uh, you click OK and we're gonna make the thickness we're gonna make that minus one and that will mean that it will cut into the terrain we're gonna give it a name which will be uh, road slab and we are gonna select a nice brownish color click OK Click OK, and that's that. It should show up in the custom layers tab, the road slab. Now we can finally start on uh, working with the script. We, you will click on Tools at the top, then Run Script, and for the first time you will have to click the three dots and navigate to the uh, Slabify.js uh, script that you've downloaded. Or if you already have it downloaded and maybe some other ones, it's in here. You can just click it. And now it's important, uh, if you just click run now, it won't do anything. It just throw an error, not important. It says slab is required. So we're going to type slab and then we're going to give the name of the layer we just made. Road slab. Yes, and then we can click run. Hey, the script couldn't find Road Slab. And this is because uh, World Painter is a bit weird. I'm going to copy this. 
what happens is when you give him the name of road slab it will scan for road slab on the image and since we haven't applied it anywhere yet it won't do anything so we're gonna apply road slab for now on an empty area of the terrain and we're gonna remove that later and now we're gonna uh, run the script again select slabify and do the same thing again slab and road slab click run and this may take a while based on uh, how big your map is. This is not a very big map. And as you can see, it applied the road slab layer on every single edge of the map. And now to apply the slabs only on the road. To do that, we'll need a mask. And what the mask will do is basically say only on this. Uh, so there are three different types of mask. You have the terrain mask, which is basically only on grass, only on sand, or only on or custom terrain. You have the layer, so for example, only on the, the snow layer. And there is the image layer, which is if you have an image, uh, a black and white image, and only on the white parts. So we're going to start with the terrain. Uh, in case you have one of these terrains, you can just use the name. But if you have a custom terrain, you'll have to count from the top left. So this is our path terrain, which we want to apply the slabs on. So we'll count one, two, three. So this terrain will be named custom three. So we're going to go tools, run script. And we go mask, then a type of mask. Terrain, then or custom. custom three and then our slab and road slab again let's copy that and select the correct script of course don't forget that click run and it's done and now we can look at the info tab to see if it actually worked and oh there are no slabs on it yet it might be that it works for you. Uh, in my case, I counted the terrains, but once there was another terrain in here while making this map and I ended up removing that. But that means uh, since it was made before I made the road layer, that this is actually custom four instead of custom three. And that's something you might want to be aware of. Let's run the script again and change the three to the four. And it might be a bit of trial and error to figure it out. Uh, we click run. And now it should have worked. And if you look at the inspect, you can see, hey, there's the road slab. Now let's see how that looks in game. And as we can see here, the road has nice slabs on it. So... Yeah, you can now easily walk up the road without pressing spacebar. So this was uh, a success. Now there is one thing you might want to change. Uh, for example, in this case, the this block, this basically the the row of slabs is has a bit of a thin bridge. I mean, then you could also make that a bit thicker. So you would also consider the the corners like this. Um, and to do that is quite easy as well. We just run the script again. And at the top, we add the word thick. We press run again. And you'll see that if you export this and look at it in game, you can see that the slabs now have this thick, thicker uh, look to them. As you can see here. And otherwise it would have just been this. So that's the difference between the thin and the thick edge selection. 
Now to give you some example for how the layer mask works, we are going to use the annotations because in, in the code the annotations are the same thing as a layer. So if it is one of the normal layers, for example snow cover, you can just use the name snow cover. But if you use annotations, for example in this orange corner over here, uh, it will uh, you can just type annotations. Uh, I don't di differentiate between the colors uh, just because that's a bit hard to do in the code aspect of things. But for our case, just assume it's just the code. We're going to go to run script, select the correct script, paste our code from before. And instead of the terrain mask, we're going to use the layer mask. And for the name, make sure that you type annotations uh, the a as a capital letter because it's case sensitive and let's for the slab instead use the stone slab layer like the correct script click run and now it's done and if you hide the annotations again you can see it also applied it there Okay, now to use the mask as uh, a file, uh, the file must be a black and white image where on the white areas the mask will, the slabs will be applied and on the black areas not. If you don't already have one of those images you won't have a use, but people, people who would use this know who they are. Uh, to do this uh, you need to have the file path of the image. To get that you can shift, right click, copy as path, go back to World Painter, click tools, run scripts like Slabify, make sure that your road slab is already on the world somewhere, you can remove that later. Uh, and then we'll type in the parameters, mask, file, and then the thing we've just copied, we do not need the quotation marks, so you can or you should remove them, otherwise it would, won't work. Slab, road, slab, click run. It's done. Close. And now if you go back and look here, you can see on the right it's on. So that works as well. Now there are some uh, shortcuts. Uh, if you run the script and type help, it will print out the whole documentation and it will throw an error, it doesn't matter. Basically says like all the things are slabs and layers. Uh, one of the things for if you use this a lot, you can shorten every single uh, keyword. So everything except the last word in well, a series of words to the first letter. So instead of typing mask every time, you can just type the letter M. Um, and then for terrain, it's T. For file, it's F. For layer, it's L. And then for the slab, you can just type the S, etc. Which makes it a bit more quick if you know what you're doing. Uh, and I think that's all I have to explain about Slabify.